We're heading up to Tahoe tomorrow to see the grandkids, but I thought, well, maybe there's some newbies out there that would like to see where I put everything in the van. So if you'd like to see that, then stay tuned. So we're leaving tomorrow for a one week trip up to South Lake Tahoe to see the grandkids. And uh, the first thing we do to get ready for the trip is we empty the tank. Well, we make sure the tanks are empty and clean and the water supply is clean and, and refilled. And we, since we don't drink the water in our, out of our freshwater tank, we take a couple of gallons in a container. And so here's the container down here. And to keep it connected, I put a, so it doesn't fly around when you're moving. I put Velcro on here and one piece on here and that holds it tight enough so it doesn't fly out. Okay, this is where I keep my clothes on this side. So back here and my cameraman, are you focusing on stuff? Okay, so I've, I'm just experimenting right now with uh, this little cardboard shelf that I constructed. Um, but this is, where I'll, this is where my shirts are. This is where I keep my sleeping clothes and then in this little bucket and you can look, uh, I got this at Target but they don't have any more. My under things, socks, underwear. Oops. And then my long pants and shorts are here. I have an extra pair of shoes here. This is my uh, swim gear. Hopefully we'll, the lake will be warm enough. We'll be able to go to the lake and some, uh, some water shoes. And then here are my jackets. Uh, temperatures at night can get down into the 30s, so you have to be ready for everything. Okay, the next thing for me to do is the food. Uh, this is where we, the spillover food goes. These are usually chips and, and uh, crackers and things like that and they go in a tub because you don't want to have to, you don't want to open a cabinet and have everything fly out at you. And then the rest of the food is right here. And I put things in a clear tub so I can see what's in here. Since this is, since we're going to be visiting family, we don't have to carry a lot of food. Um, and then I carry some more things that they need faster access to like peanut butter <laughs> up here and some, um, I'll be able to put some bread in here on that open space. So that's where the food goes. Okay, the last, uh, the bedding is, goes up here. Uh, we have two towels and uh, two pillows each and uh, the comforter um, that goes on top is in there. And then the, the uh, pad that we sleep on that's wrapped in a duvet cover will go in last and that'll actually stay out on the back of the, the seat. On this side are John's things. So John's things go in here. Those are all his clothes for the trip. And then this is just miscellaneous stuff um, to do with uh, audio visual type things, speaker, that sort of thing. I haven't packed the refrigerator. I haven't packed the refrigerator yet. That will be the last thing. Right now it's completely empty. But we get that pre-chilled tonight and pack it in the morning. The bathroom. In the bathroom. I have our hamper for dirty clothes, a towel for hair, and uh, you know, washcloths and brushes and things like that, cosmetics and stuff like that down at the bottom. A couple of rolls of paper towels and two toilet paper that are on a tension rod and then some miscellaneous rags and things like that. And then down below, down here, I keep a basket for the shower, and I don't know if I've ever shown this before, but this is a stick-on toilet paper roller, to toilet roll holder, and it has worked really well. Uh, I like the fact that it has this on here. It keeps the paper from falling off when you turn. So underneath the sink is this little ledge here between the step and this is where John keeps an extra pair of shoes because he has really big feet. Okay. Okay, in the back. We have uh, two backpacks, the, uh, the sewer equipment, the filter for the water, the, the, uh, the Lego blocks to level the van, a hose, 
These are great hose. These zero G hoses are awesome. Two chairs. And my toolkit. I don't take very many, just a few things. I just made this myself. Just um, some heavy duty fabric and elastic and roll it up. And, and then up here, here, this is where the, this mosquito screen goes, but behind it, there's a little ledge and that's where we keep our walking sticks and the components for the outdoor shower. Okay, well that's everything for the car except for our electronics and ourselves, and those will go in at the last minute. I hope that's helped some newbies out there who may be wondering whether they can fit in a Class B, and this is the short one, this is the Ascent, uh, 19 feet 7 inches long. Maybe this will give you a little bit better idea of whether you can fit in it or not. Thanks for watching.